Mastering surface modeling in CAD requires a lot of practice and in this video we will go through an amazing cylinder connection exercise where you will learn some key basics of surface modeling in plasticity. Let's dive in. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, Additionally, you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. And this this will be a lot of fun and again below this video download this file and just hide this one here and you should also have three in there so we can go one by one but yeah in this module we will just practice the absolute basics again of surface modeling in a little bit more intermediate way it's not intermediate it's still very basic but also i will just go from from one exercise to the other and everyone will be a little bit more challenging but that's good because you will learn the absolute basics of surface modeling how to loft how to create curves and how to patch and how to combine ju just uh, things and i think with those uh, cylinders you will learn everything what's important. So you just understand the concept of those uh, things. All right, so let's hide here number two and number one, and uh, number three, I mean, and start with number one here. So how to connect that? Okay, obviously very simple. Just select those edges and loft. Okay, and you see it's G1. And here in this example, because everything is so super simple, you see if we go G2, then you see it's even smoother. So if you press OK and I press Shift E, so show edges, you see we have a very nice connection and that's basically it. So we just lofted two edges. Okay, so now let's go to number two and now it will get already much more different and much more realistic what we will encounter most of the time with surface modeling. So this could be everything, right? For example, if we just go to Pinterest type product design, you see we always have in product this kind of connection. So of course this is a very simple version of it, but here we basically have also one cylinder and another cylinder in which are connected, right? or here so or here so i also have a youtube tutorial on that again a cylinder and here on the bottom again a cylinder and it's nicely smoothly and connected and also here so you get the point right so we see very often so okay now now it starts <laughs> showing us exactly what we want so a lot of products always have some kind of form and shape which is connecting or going into uh, the other right so what to do so i first of all just try to imagine what i want to do so just to visualize so i want to connect it in this kind of manner right so this would be like the most logical uh, thing that everything is just nice and smoothly connected. So that means that we have to break up somehow this left cylinder at this point and at this point we have to create a hole because right now there is nothing to connect to because we just have a closed surface. So we have to open again, we have the main shape, the main cylinder on the left, but we have to cut a piece away so we can start to connect to this circular edge. So that means I just will, yeah, just create here a hole 
and just cut this away because we will not need it because then again we will have here an edge and we have here our circular edge and then we can start to patch or to loft it and you see so if you have like a 3d vision then you see already what i want to do here so let's do that first of all because this will be symmetric we want to cut it absolutely in half um you will see in a second why so go to the top view and before we start or you know, go to the left view and create a line and snap it in the middle and C cut into the main body, delete the left piece and the same this curve cut into this body, delete and delete. Because now we just have to work on one half and we can mirror it over and we will not have any issues. So now let's go to the front view and create a line and just go to something like that and press B to give it just here a fillet so it's smooth and now cut into the body. So press C, cut here into the face and delete that and delete that. So this is now you see exactly what I wanted. So just again, we want to connect this and like this way. And now we have here an edge. So now we have here a hole that we can try to fill. So how do we do that? So maybe you would try just to select those edges and loft them, but you see <laughs> this doesn't work. Mm, it's not so important why it doesn't work, but just if you're interested in here, we have just one long edge, but here we see we have a lot of edges, but also this is like a very perfect cylindrical shape and this not. So we have to break it and patch it a little bit uh, down. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to connect this edge with this edge in the smoothest possible G1 way. Okay. So for that, select this edge and this edge. And very important command, you will always use it in surface modeling. So press F and search for bridge edge because this is an edge just if someone is confused because I see it all the time. So this is a curve. So right, this is a curve. We can play with it around and it's blue and this is an edge. So an edge is a part. So the end part of a face and it's black. Okay. So yeah. So we select two edges and go to the front view and again press F and search for bridge edge. Because again, you always use this. I have it on shift B because again, you can use it with your left hand very fast. So shift B and bam, you see, we have a nice connection and it's even G2, but in this example, just do it, go to G1 because this will be fine here. And as I said, in this introduction, we are not covering G2 and G3, even if it's showing us that we have to do G2, but just don't do it. Stay, stick with G1 in the beginning. And so you see, we have a nice smooth connection. So press OK. And we have to do exactly the same at the bottom. Select this edge, shift this edge, and again, search for bridge edge or press shift B. And because here you see why I don't want G2, because here it would be fine. But here you see it's just too sharp. And if you press G1 and G1, now you see it's much has a better rounding. Just in that example for beginners, just do it. Press OK. Perfect. So now you see we kind of have a closed hole. So what do I mean by that? So we have everywhere boundary. So here we have boundary edges, but we have now also those boundary curves. So when you have this kind of an instance, you can try to patch it. So again, patch is something what you always will use in surface modeling. So if you press patch, bam, you see, we basically 
already get a perfect example, you think. So if you press OK, and if you press Shift E, so again, Shift E is the command for toggle show edges. You see, it looks good, but it, it's not good. Because if we go to the right view, because as you remember, G0 is not a smooth connection. It looks pretty smooth, but you see it's not. So what we want to do is we could select this face and shift X to delete it and try again. Just select everything and shift three patch command. And now everywhere we, where we want uh, like, like a nice smooth transition, we just go to G1, 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 and also here G1. And if you press OK and shift E again, now you see that looks much, much, much better. So for you as a beginner. <laughs> but we have a big problem. The, I always see this, that uh, beginners do this mistake. And I will also explain that later in common problems and stuff. But if you delete now those curves with X, and if you object mode, select this object and uh, mirror it, and bring it here to the other side and press OK, Bam! You see, so it looks everywhere nice, but not if we go here to the top where we had our, how is it called? Our curve, right? Which we selected for our patch and we have this ugly seam here, the same at the bottom, but we want a smooth connection. Why is that? It's the biggest, biggest thing. Every beginner is always doing this mistake. But now you will see what to do and you will never ever make this mistake. So if we just go back with Control Z and we have the situation. If you cut an object in half, as we did here, as you will most of the time will do. And if you connect where in the middle piece, so here are the curves, right? They are in the middle. But you can't just use them for patch or lofts. So in this example, it's patch, but for loft, you will see in the next example, it's the same because we don't have any tangent information here. So the patch doesn't know. So if we select with shift click all of those edges and curves, and if we patch it, you see everywhere where we have an edge, we have the option to decide if we want continuity or not, if it's G0 or G1, the same here, but not at this curve. So always when you loft, or especially when you patch, you always need edges. So it's, it depends on the case, but in most of the time you need edges because edges, you have the control of tangency, of curvature, of, of smoothness. So how to achieve that? You just select those edges and press E for extrude because you can extrude curves. So press E and bam, just extrude them a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's long, if it's short, we just need a surface. Press OK, delete this curve, delete this curve. And now you see we have a different situation. Now we have a close boundary only out of black edges. And now if you patch it again, bam, now you see we have everywhere this control here. So just press tab. So you switch all of them to G1 and press OK. And now just very important, you have to go to face mode and select this face, shift this face and delete it again. This was just for help, for support. And now if you select this whole body and Alt X and you bring it to the other side, right click and now you Look what we have. Now we have a very nice tangent, smooth connections and no smooth edges. And this is true for this case. It's also true for much, 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 much more comple complex objects like helmets and power drills and cars, everything. You always need this supporting line. Don't worry if you don't uh, understand it yet. We will <laughs> always use this in our next examples. So we have our nice, beautiful connection. 
So let's close this. And, and if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.